हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक सो एक क्वेश्चन आया था क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स से इस बार नेट जे आर एफ एग्जामिनेशन में एंड ये बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम है सो लेट्स सॉल्व इट टू नॉन इंटरेक्टिंग आइडेंटिकल स्पिन वन हाफ पार्टिकल्स ईच ऑफ मास एम आर प्लेस्ड इन अ टू डायमेंशनल इनफिनाइट स्क्वायर वेल ऑफ साइड एल द सिंगल पार्टिकल स्पेशल वेव फंक्शन इज गिवन बाय सो दिस इज आवर स्पेशल वेव फंक्शन ओके while n x and n y are positive integers if the particles are in a total spin state given by this the lowest possible energy eigen value is okay so we have non interacting identical particles spin one half particle that means we have identical fermions identical fermions right and for identical fermions we know psi has to be anti symmetric anti symmetric anti symmetric okay that's what our psi has to satisfy but psi we can break it down so we can break down our psi in terms of the spatial wave function phi and the spin wave function chi okay so phi is your spatial wave function spatial wave function spatial wave function spatial wave function and chi is your spin wave function spin wave function okay now let's look at first of all this spin wave function chi so chi so chi spin wave function is symmetric why because it's given in the problem that its spin state is j equals to 1 and m equals to 0 j equals to 1 and m equals to 0 so if you look at it it's a symmetric wave function symmetric symmetric spin state symmetric spin state and you can write it as up down plus down up okay with an Uh, factor of one by root. So it's a one of the spin state of a triplet spin state. Okay, so it's a symmetric. So if this is symmetric, that that means our spatial wave function has to be anti-symmetric. So this has to be anti-symmetric. So phi has to be anti-symmetric. Phi has to be anti-symmetric. Phi has to be anti-symmetric. Okay. So if phi is our anti-symmetric, uh, chi is um, uh, symmetric, then our phi, sorry, psi will be uh, anti-symmetric. Okay. So what does phi equal to anti-symmetric mean? So phi anti-symmetric. So that's what we have to satisfy. So phi equals to anti-symmetric means that uh, particles cannot occupy the same spatial state particles cannot occupy the same spatial state spatial state okay so this was a background now let's come to our question so our question is that we have a mass uh, two particles of mass m in an Two dimensional infinite square well of side L. So let me draw the problem now. So let me draw infinite square well two dimensional. So let me make it like this. Okay, so we have a two dimensional two dimensional box infinite. Okay, of side L. This is L. This is L. And phi is given by phi is given by two by l sine of n x by n x by x by l and sine of n y by y by l. Okay, n x by x by l sine of n y by y by l. And we know the energy. 
eigenvalues so that will be equals to nx square plus ny square i square h square divided by 2 ml square okay this we already know now we can also write um, uh, we can also write single particle energy levels so single particle energy levels we can write as suppose the ground state will be suppose nx equals to 1 and y equals to 1 so we can write 1 comma 1 for particle 1 so ground state ground state the first excited state will be 1 comma 2 or 2 comma 1 okay that is nx equals to 1 and n x y equals to 2 and the third exit sorry second excited state will be nx equals to 2 and y equals to 2, 2 comma 2 then third excited state will be 1 comma 3 or 3 comma 1 similarly for this particle number 2 so we have we can have 1 comma 1 1 2 or 2 comma 1 or 2 2 or 1 comma 3 3 comma 1 and so on and so forth right now we have to find in the question it asks us to find the lowest possible energy eigenvalue the lowest possible energy eigenvalue so we have to start from the bottom so to start from the bottom we can choose first particle to have this energy now we can't have the second uh, we can't choose uh, the energy uh, or the uh, spatial state this one why because that will make it symmetric so we have to choose the anti-symmetric one so we have to choose this one okay so the first uh, uh, or the first uh, uh, what can we say the first uh, or the lowest possible energy eigenvalue will be the combination of this one and this one okay okay you can't choose this one because then it will make it symmetric and we know the particles cannot occupy the same spatial state so one particle has to occupy this state and other particle has to occupy this state or you can also uh, say that one particle has to occupy this state and the other particle has to occupy this state any one of these states okay so either way we can have the energy for this state that equals to 1 square plus 1 square pi square h square by 2 m l square and for this one we can have we just have to add because it's no total energy now plus 1 square plus 2 square pi square h square by 2 m l square so if we add it up it will come to pi square h square by 2 m l square plus 5 pi square h square by 2 m l square so it will be equals to 7 pi square h square by 2 m l square so this will be our energy or the lowest energy okay and if we check the answer it is option number 4 